Hi, uh, welcome to this quick session. I am going to quickly illustrate how to configure and use a PDF reader using a service called OCR space. For this, what I've done is I have created a table with certain rudimentary columns like C1, C2, C3, C4. There's a column for document, column type of document, and there is a column type, column type text called modified data. And there's also a column which I've created called unique identifier, okay? So most of these fields are text. This is a field type document. So what we'll try and do is try and create a new application. Let's create new from scratch. We'll name this as PDF reader. Description is a sample app or something. And then let's choose an icon and say add app. When the system actually opens up the studio, we can start defining or designing the application itself. So what we'll try and do is we'll ask the user's input of uh, uh, the file that has to be read, the PDF file that has to be read, read and uh, passed on to the service. So for this, let's add a file file upload control, which is in the native category. And the file upload will essentially help the user to select the files from the device or can open the camera and capture some images if you would like. Now, what is file upload? The second one is, uh, let's, let's try and create the unique identifier as well for this one, so that we can actually store this unique identifier in the same row as we upload these files and we operate on the information on these on this particular data entry. So let's do a text here. And here, uh, if you're well versed with the platform, the way you assign a text or uh, a data onto this text box is to first make this text box as either read only or hidden. Let's make this read only so that we can actually see what's the unique ID getting assigned. Now, for you to generate a unique ID, uh, before doing that, let's change the name of this. Let's call this text box as a unique ID, uh, unique ID, and then uh, click the F icon, go to the formula option. And here you need to call a formula called unique ID generator. Okay, now when you call this without any parameters, when you do a save and validate, it's gonna show you what's the uh, data which is which it is returning. So this is a unique ID. Every time this formula gets executed, you will get a unique ID in that particular text box. Now the reason we are doing this is we can read this unique ID from this particular control of text box, store it in the in the database once we submit this data, okay? Now, user's gonna upload the file. The next thing is to basically generate a event and the event we will be generating using a submit button. And the submit button event is going to trigger a workflow. So this is gonna be a simple submit and that's going to activate our workflow. Let's define a few tasks in the workflow to capture the data and also call the OCR uh, service. Now, as you can see, the workflow is kind of, is, is right now empty, there are no tasks. So the first task which I'm gonna do is capture the, the document and the unique ID and store it in the database first. So let's say update sheet. And uh, the name of this particular task is update user input, okay? There are no conditions for execution of this one. This is deployed in all the, the environments. 
So where to update? So what you do is just sync all the sheets, uh, which we might have created uh, recently. And uh, select the name of the sheet as generic sheet, which we saw. The name of the sheet is generic sheet. And uh, what you need to do is insert a fresh record. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll put uh, two things here. One is the document. The document is going to come from the upload um, upload uh, control, file upload control, which is called file upload here, All right? And uh, there's gonna be a column which is called unique identifier. So this is gonna come from the text box, which we call as unique identifier or unique ID. Yeah, this is called unique ID. Yeah, so now our controls are mapped with the columns. So every time there's an input, the data is going to be entered into a fresh row in the generic sheet, okay? That's the first task. Now, after entering the data, let's create another task to call the OCR service right now, okay? Now the OCR service can be called with selecting the service from the third party services category in the task edition. Let's call the OCR space, say continue. Now it's gonna show me the list of services which we have with the OCR space. Uh, I'm selecting the first one, detect text. Now, for you can go ahead and explore text text uh, version two as well. So the text detect text is the service. Now this is the account which I've created with OCR space. So it's gonna show up here for me. And uh, I'm gonna click continue. So here uh, you need to put the URL of the, the file, the PDF file, which has to come here. So the beauty of the platform is I can directly read this from the, the file upload uh, control. Okay, it's gonna give me the URL directly. So I can directly get the file uh, read from the file upload control here. And I say continue. Now when to execute task, if I leave it blank, it's gonna execute every time. Then I'm gonna put the name of the task as read PDF or something like that. Okay. And reads the PDF document. Now what we need to do is uh, basically add some variables to read the data. Okay. Then uh, we say PDF. Mm, result or maybe PDF text. And the output is the, the, the basically the, the return data from the service, OCR service. So let's see what all you wanna capture. Uh, so there's past results, text overlay lines, text lines, words. Okay, there's words height, words top, words left. Okay, let's see what we can do. Message, orientation, exit code. Let's see, parse text. Okay, so it gives me the entire text here. Let's add more variables and say PDF lines. You wanna count the number of lines here. So we can say overlay, text overlay lines. And you can add more PDF status. If the reading has been successful, if there's any error, so let's say parse exit code or error message. Let's say OCR exit code. Okay. So this the so you can read all the all the parameters returned by the service here and store it in various different. Uh, variables here in this particular task and then say uh, done, finish. Okay, now your service is executed here and the next task you're gonna create is to basically read those variables and put it back in a database again. So you go to update sheet again and here you're gonna say update OCR data that can be a name for this task. 
way to update then you go to the generic sheet okay okay so let's do the update record in the generic sheet and for us to filter the right row where the data has to be updated we have to select one of the identifier which is the unique identifier this is the column and this column must be equal to the data which you have entered or which we have fetched in the unique ID text box. Okay. Uh, that's about it. So now, uh, so what's the data that has to be updated? We have to select a column here. Let's collect uh, column one. And uh, for column one, we're going to read uh the data from read pdf task which is our uh, task for reading the data from uh, ocr service and there are three variables here so i'm going to put uh, all the three in c1 c2 and c3 respectively so text is going in c1 now c2 I'm going to add the task uh, second one, which is the lines. Uh, mind you, I'm not sure what is the return value from these exactly, but uh, I want to demonstrate uh, how to basically store these data in, in the database. So the third one is the status. Okay, so we have C1, C2, C3 filtered by the unique ID and that's where you have uh, the data here and say done. So now your storing of the data is actually complete here in this particular screen. Okay. Now this is your simple storage scenario and let's see if this works well. Okay, so this is uh, version one, simple PDF storage, and let's publish this. So when I publish this, the publish, the moment it's over, we can actually check this from a web container, and there is going to be uh, an app which we will be created which will be deployed here in the web container let's see if it is done yes the pdf reader let's see if it is published yes it is published okay so let's go to the container check for pdf reader this is our new app open the app it should essentially show you two input items. One is the text box, which will actually have the unique identifier already populated. And there's going to be upload files here. So the upload files, the moment you click, it will ask you whether you want to open the camera or file manager. So I'll say file manager. So from file manager, I have a sample uh, file, which is called PDF reader test dot pdf okay and let me submit this once i do that sequentially three tasks get executed the first one is to first one stores the data here as you can see the pdf is being stored okay the second one is it basically um calls the ocr service and the third task is the OCR service returns the data and it captures the data in the variables and it stores those in in the in the columns as you can see here. So this is the data which is returned from this file. Okay, let's open the file and see. Uh, you can basically view a PDF uh, without opening it here. So this is the PDF here and this data is what is returned to me and I have stored it in in C1, column C1. So I wasn't sure what the other parameters are, so I tried to store them in other columns, but uh, uh, this is the data, the text which is written in one of the variables here, okay. So this is how you actually read the data. Now, if you want to perform certain operations on this and update this 
uh, information. It's pretty simple. So what you do is, uh, uh, let's name this screen as uh, um, upload PDF as the screen name, okay? And label this likewise in the header section. Go to the main heading, let's say PDF, re upload PDF. And the subheading is input data. And uh, what I'm gonna do is on the left icon, uh, you will essentially have a exit option or a logout option, which will exit the app, okay? And uh, once the submit happens, I want to show the user the output by fetching it from the database onto another screen. So we will design another screen. Go to the screen section. Let's say add a new screen and the type of screen which I want to add is just a simple screen itself. So here it says screen two, let's rename this uh, decoded PDF data. And let's name the same in the label as well in the header section. View OCR output, okay? Now on the left icon, I am again gonna have an exit or let's, let's do a back here to the, the previous application itself, a previous screen itself. So let's say the action here is going to be navigate with no validation to screen one, which is upload PDF, okay? And for the right icon, I will put this as a maybe exit app. This is exit app, okay? So your navigation is set right now. What you need to define here is uh, to fetch the required data, what you fetched from um, the service, or what you've written from service, got, what you've got from service, rather. So for me to get the relevant uh, information, I'm going to have a drop down. And the drop down is going to be the one which will fetch me all the unique identifier basically so that I can basically display as a invoice ID or something wherein I want to view what is fetched. So how do I fetch this? Go to sheets, go to generic sheets, generic sheet and the column which I want to fetch here is unique identifier. So I don't have to add any filter because the unique ID is gonna be completely different for each row. So just save this. And the label for this is select the unique ID. Okay. Now, if you do a quick preview, it should actually show you one unique ID, which is already stored here in the uh, database, there you go. So you can select this. Let's perform some operation on this. Once you select the unique ID, I want to see the text which is fetched uh, as it is stored in the column C1. So the control which I'm gonna use is the text area to display a big text area here. You can also use rich text editor, but text area can be a good option and uh, it's pretty simple so just fetch the data from sheets and the name of the sheets is generic sheets generic sheet and the column which i'm gonna fetch the data from is c1 and let me add a filter here the filter is pretty simple so the unique identifier column should be the one which is selected by my drop down and the unique ID or the unique name of the drop down is select the unique ID. Okay. So system writes the formula for me, just say insert and it's gonna insert this in my dialog box. 
and save and validate the formula, it says success. So you are good to go, okay? So your app is all set and let's publish this again. And publish this, we name this as version two. And let's publish this. And uh, you can actually see this in the container itself now. Let's wait for a few seconds before it gets published. There you go, the publish is successful. Let's go to the app. Let's just refresh the container and it will basically show me the newly published application itself. The name of the app is PDF Reader. I will open the PDF Reader. And uh, let's do the same similar operation as we did earlier. So this is the unique ID now, and I'm gonna play, upload a file. Let's upload the same file, okay? And uh, let's select the desktop. The name of the file is PDF reader test. And I submit. All right, so your data is submitted here. Okay, this didn't redirect. Okay, we missed one step here. Let's just go back to, let's exit this app. I will add one. Uh, by the way, there is there's this new entry here. So let's go back here. What we missed here is in the main page or the main leaf of the app on the submit button on the success call back we just displayed a pop-up message but what we want is the redirection to an internal page which is screen two which is called the code the pdf data okay so once the submit is pressed i am redirected to this page now once we add any changes or once we do any changes you would essentially have to publish this again. So we just say this is version three. <clears throat> yeah, so publish is done. Let's go to the container. Let's refresh this again. Okay, now let's go to the app, do the similar operation as we did earlier. Yeah, so this is upload files and file manager. Let's select the same file again, go to desktop. It's called uh, PDF reader test dot PDF. Submit this. All right, so now I've been redirected to the second page wherein I actually see the, um, the, 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 the page wherein I have the select option and also the text box here. Now, since it is the real time operation, so you will not be able to see the one which is uh, populated already, right? So if you want to see the second one, which is already there, this is what is the text which is written. And the first one, this is the text which is written, returned, okay? So you can add a refreshed option here, uh, which will fetch the latest data as well and the latest one which is written and uh, you can fetch that particular block and uh, show the output. Okay, but uh, you can already see that the third, I, third row is already added here with the required information. So, uh, so that's how uh, you can read the data, PDF data. So if you can, uh, if you want, if there is a, 
uh, if there is a, a service which is apart from what you have as OCR service, you can write, run that particular service um, and uh, you know capture the capture the information here in uh, in this particular table and operate on the table as you would like. Okay. So there are ways of displaying the data. The way I've displayed it in a text box, you can basically operate this using lists or show the data, capture a specific data, you know, uh, do any operation you would like. All right, so that concludes a quick demonstration. And uh, thank you for uh, listening and I hope you enjoy building apps on uh, Drone HQ. Thank you.